My name is Dr. B.G. Ratnam. I am a neurosurgeon at Apollo Hospitals, Hyderabad, Jubilee Hills. Uh, today we will have a brief about cervical spine stabilization. Now cervical spine consists of seven bones. We go them by numbers starting with C1 to 7. C for cervical 1 to 7 and below that comes the thoracic spine. Normally cervical spine is designed and made for mobility. The mobility between the each spine segments like we call it C1, C2, C3, C4 and so on is different at each level. So we take spine level let's say C1 and C2 the amount of mobility and the, and the directions in which you can move is different from a level below and so on and so forth. Since the cervical spine is made for mobility, it is normally controlled for stability by various ligaments and joints. All these bones have some degree of mobility, but they are all stable with all these supporting systems which include muscles. Now, in what situation do we need to stabilize the spine? Spinal stabilization for the neck is basically when the bone is damaged and the stability of the spine is in question. Now the bone is can be damaged because of various reasons most common one being trauma or injury where there is a fracture or a dislocation or a disease. Diseases are common ones are infections like tuberculosis or some kind of tumors which go and destroy the bone joints and ligaments. So when the stability of the spine is in question, we need to stabilize the spine. Now if you see the model, you'll, you'll find this is the front of the spine and the back of the spine. We can do different operations which can give stability either from the front or back or from the both sides. The operations we do from the front for stabilization called anterior spinal approaches, where we operate from the front of the neck to reach the front of the spine and create stability. The operations we do from the back are for the from the back where we put in stabilizing implants in the back. Now another reason why we need to stabilize the spine is when we remove the pressure from the nerves. The main nerve in the cervical spine being the cervical spinal cord which is which is like a major nerve that goes through all these rings from brain all the way to the lower part of the spine. Now if the spine is damaged or during some kind of operation where we had to sacrifice lot of bones which will cause potential instability that's when we, we do this operation for stabilizing the spine. Now that there are various kinds of implants uh, which are synthetic which are some of them are metallic which we use. The ones we put in the front will go into the disc spaces or they can go into the bones to give stability. The ones we do from the back are usually there are uh, screws, nuts and rods to give such stability. Now there is a different kind of uh, approach for when we do operations for the younger people where we do not want to have too much of stiffness after the operation where we want to give some degree of mobility between the spine like how it is naturally made. The reason why I am saying for younger people we do this because in older people by age all the joints will become stiff and they become less mobile as the person grows older. In that case we put a something like an artificial joint which gives a dynamic stability. So that's what cervical spine stability involves. It involves removing the diseased bone and making an assessment of the stability that we need and depending on what is good or what is probably most beneficial to the patient we choose an approach either from the front or from the back sometimes we have to do both from front and back these are the operations what we call for stabilizing the spine most of the patients will have a lot of doubts about this implants we are using all these implants are tested not just for strength but also for their longevity in the human body. 
they last as long as the patient leaves they don't most of the time do not require to be taken out and the usual ones we use are titanium made there are other materials like something called peak which are little bit closer in terms of their strength to the bone there are times where we use a different kind of material called bone cement into the spine to give stability bone cement is is like a glue which when injected into the bone will cause strength to that particular part of the bone now anything any operation where we do on the spinal cord to or the roots to remove pressure from the spinal cord or the roots by removing the normal bone is because of a degenerative spine disease that means the aging process of the spine is causing some pressure on the nerve roots as the most common reason for operations on the spine where we remove the pressure from the the, ner the nervous elements and we put in implants to give stability most of the time with experience we know what will be the possible implants we are planning to use for each particular case so we can plan for anterior these are the implants these are the uh, sizes of implants we can use and we use them during the operation in apollo hospital jubilee hills we have all the facilities required to do all kinds of spinal operations on the cervical spine thank you